Good morning, tubers. This is the browning process. Keep the meat moving. Pay attention. Don't multitask. You multitask, you're going to burn your beef. You want a little, a little bit of it brown to bring out that extra caramelized flavor. Just like anything you fry up, onions, peppers. For some reason, this little pan, I mean, I have equal amounts of meat in the pans. This flame is smaller, and this is a bigger flame underneath. But this, this pot here, or pan here, ooh, that's got a that's got a thicker plate on the bottom, and that's sold by the local grocery store Wegmans, which is noted for their variety and top quality stuff. And uh, any pans with their names on it, is, you know, they're good people and they treat their workers decent too. See, that's what you want to get some of this brown crusties in there to bring out that beef flavor. And then after this is browned up a little bit more, I'll put it in my redneck Tupperware containers, which are yogurt containers that have been cleaned out. I put it in the fridge or the freezer until I'm ready to mix it together in a few days. And I'll do that with my onions and my peppers, brown them up ahead of time and get it ready to go. Don't you know?